Hello everyone, this is VJ, and of course, as usual, your advocate, Tone, is here, and she says she has another question, like she always does, right? All right, Tone, come on in, come say hello. Hey everyone. Hello. So, this week I have another question. Of course. So, with so many product offerings, so many size options, and growing yes. your business, yes. how has personal org organization helped you be successful in your business? All right, thank you so much, Tone. Everyone, let's give it up for Tone. <laughs> thank you, Tone. All right, I think I would like to start first with what personal organization means and why we as a brand, why Notique's focus is that. Personal organization, we define it as how you manage your time, energy, and resources to create value and grow in success. Personal organization, again, is how you manage your time, energy, and resources to create value and complete it, Tone. Can you complete it? Yes. And grow in success. Oh, She's grow. like, guess it. Okay. And grow in success. And so... And so that's primarily what I do. I have learned to limit distractions in my life. I, I, and, and it didn't come easy. It didn't come easy. I found that I do better when I am quiet and when I am focused than when I'm distracted. And so over the years, I've gotten better in managing my time, my energy, and my resources. And resources has to do with money, my gifts, my talents, and all of that. And so one way that I limit, that I limit my distractions, one is I, I don't take calls until a particular time in the morning. So if you called me at 7 a.m. or 8 a.m., you will not be able to speak with me. And that's because that particular time is my moment, my time of prayer and devotion, reading. I, I get to read my Bible. I get to draw from scriptures, some, a word that will, that will lead me and guide me into the day. I spend time with my children. I make sure that they're good to go for school. And then after 9 a.m., my phone then opens up for calls and all of that. So, so that's my way of limiting distractions. Another thing that I do is I also do not, I do my best to not go on social media first thing in the morning because you know, it's almost like a spiral. You, you get in in the morning and then you just, mm. so I do my best to not go on social media immediately when I get up. I actually stay away from that. And so that helps me, that keeps me going. So my mind is positive, it's full. And then the other thing that I do too is I practice quiet moments and that's when I'm quiet, no radio, no music in the background, particularly in my car. And I engage or I connect with my inner, my inner voice and I try to listen to, I believe that, I believe that God has put so much on our insides and many times we just need to be quiet to, to hear what's on our inside. And so many times I am quiet in my car, I'm thinking through my day, I'm reflective. So I practice a lot of reflective moments and by doing so, my life's voice becomes louder than the voice of others and what others are doing or what others are saying. And as a result, I'm able to stay focused. And so in hearing what's on my inside, I'm able to pen down my thoughts, pen down my notes, know exactly what it is that I'm trying to achieve. And that's part of what has helped me, right? It's helped me in growing this brand. Just being able to listen, listen to the voice God has given me on the inside, listen to God's voice and just helping me. That is just kept me going. And so when I do see what my friends are doing, I applaud them, I celebrate them. However, I have a secret space or a private place where I can come to and I can always put my own dreams in front of me. Because what happens when you are distracted is you tend to hear the voices of others and the voices of what others are doing louder than your own voice. And then you start shrinking, you start feeling like a failure. You start thinking you're not doing anything. You get distracted. You don't do what you hear. Every single thing that you see on this table came from a quiet place. It came from hearing, paying attention to my clients, hearing what can I do, asking myself, what work can I do? How else can I add value? Remember, the real definition of personal organization is how you manage your time your energy, your resources to what? To create value 
and as a, and then the end result you grow in success and it's a journey so you can start wherever you are right now maybe you want to build a big brand maybe you want to build a small brand that is perfectly fine begin by limiting your distractions begin by spending some more quiet time to hear and figure out what it is particularly that you want to do and then last just a couple more tips i do a lot of reading i think i've kind of hinted at that i do a lot of reading I do a lot of walking. I love walking. Walking allows me to hear. And I love water too. Water has been proven to help with thought, right? And how you think and all of that. And so I hope my few tips have helped you today. And I hope you can take it with you and you too can go become more. Again, here at Notique, my commitment, my passion is to help you stand out grow in value and become more and every tuesdays i share that with elegant secrets if you're not subscribed you have to join my newsletter i share my own stories my struggles and how i've risen above that and i invite you to come be a part of our elegant community thank you so much for watching this video follow the links below for the next steps and i'll see you on the next video take care